Everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting High Fleet Setu or Ketu however you're supposed to pronounce it or Chetu maybe I'm not sure <laughs> we're using one of the termagants from the Leviathan box set that Games Workshop sent me early so a massive thank you to them and we're gonna jump in and we're gonna start painting him he's been primed in Wraithbone, just like the rest of the Leviathan Tyranids. And the color we're gonna be using first is a roughly two to one mix of contrast medium and Magos purple. And we're gonna be applying this over the top of all of the chitinous armor. So with that done, just whilst we're waiting for it to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this over the top of the skin, but we're going to start on the face because we've got a little bit of blending to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply the Black Legion towards the back. Then we're going to bring it out over the top of the snout. Like that. We're then going to wash the brush and then we're just going to lift off the paint up to that cheekbone just before the eye. And we're going to do the same thing along the jawline as well. But otherwise, we're going to apply this over the rest of the skin. We're just going to try to avoid any of the little gaps. So 
So with that now done, whilst we're waiting for it to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take Magos Purple straight from the pot. I'm going to apply this over the top of the head armor. Still sticking with the Magos purple, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of it and then on the large three of these armor plates, we're going to do a little tiny bit of blending. So we're going to take the Magos purple and we're going to apply this like that in kind of like a rough semicircle. We're then going to wash the brush. And we're then going to Take most of it off and smooth out those transitions. Like that. Doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be doing some highlights, but add a little bit in there. Wash the brush. it out. So whilst we're now waiting for that m second coat of Magos Purple to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Shaiish Purple and we're going to apply this over the top of the gun. Now we're going to avoid the little cables and the eye and the little gaps. So with that now done, we're going to take some Volupus Pink and we're going to apply this to the gaps. In the gun. And in the skin. And also to the teeth. and tongue. And with that done, we're then going to take some skeleton horde and we're going to apply this over the claws and hooves and bikes and things like that. And with that now done, we're going to take some Corellia Green Shade and we're going to apply this over the top of the bit where we've blended, as well as the rest of the black. Like this. We're going to apply this over the top of the tubes. And we're going to apply this over this little eye. Yeah. And so with that now done, we're going to take some Drooky Violet 
I'm going to use this to shade the gun. I'm going to go all over the gun here, including that little eye. But we're also going to use this to shade the front three layers of chitin on his head. Just like that. Begging your pardon, but we do need to take a little bit of Achillean green. And we need to apply this over the top of the tubes in kind of a stippling motion. And apply it over that eye on the gun as well. So that done, our termagant is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. He's looking pretty cool. However, we're now going to finish him off by adding some layers and some highlights. And the first one we're going to add is some Uriel yellow. And we're just going to apply this over the top of the eyes. And with that done, we're then going to take some Screaming Skull and we're going to use this to pick out the teeth. But we're also going to use this to highlight our skeleton horde areas. So with that now done, we're going to take some thinned down pallid witch flesh and we're going to use this to highlight all of the pink armour. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down slanesh grey. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the black. And finally, just to finish him off, we're going to take some Volupus Pink once more. And we're going to apply this over the top of any little holes that he has. So he has three on either side of his tail and three on the side of his head.
And there we have it, our High Fleet CETU <laughs> Termagant is now finished. I really like this game. I've never seen it before. So either it's brand new or it's been around for a little while and I've just never seen it and I'm ignorant of Tyranids. But here it is. I think it's really, really cool. I really like that kind of way of getting the pink that isn't quite pink but is more towards purple. Uh, rather than using sort of like too much Volupus pink or anything like that. Using that Magos purple really does just make it look spot on. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like these bosses have done scrolling up on the screen before you, whose continued support helps me continue to make all the wonderful content that you enjoy. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button on the channel page or just below this video like these wonderful, amazing people have done. And if you really like this video and you just want to shoot me a little thanks, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.